Hey, welcome back to Verdon. I'm Ellie Bear. I'm joined by our support player this time, Javi. He's just joined us for the upcoming split. So Javi, I'm just going to ask you a few questions. It will just be so that the people watching can get to know who our new support player is and what to expect from you from the upcoming season. So when it came to choosing Verdon, why did you kind of, why, why was, why were we the team that seemed the most appropriate for you to join? Well, I was uh, doing screens with uh, two teams of my country and then this one. And uh, I just thought this was the team with the highest level of gameplay. And also like the co coaching staff was really good. So I just wanted to pick the, the best for me, to be honest. And I think that was it. Yeah. Um, so in terms of your career, Verdon obviously is very, you know, obviously we are an amateur team. We're very low down kind of starting up in the leagues. Is it always going to be a player that you are? Or do you think that in your future you might, I don't know, switch to coaching, managing? Or do you think you're just going to play it by ear at this point and just kind of... Well, I think for now I have like two, three years that I can like fully commit to play, I guess, as to just be a player. Because it's also the time that I'll be like uh, studying and stuff and not fully working, so I have more time. Yeah. But but I I always think uh, studying a little bit I can do a very good job as a coach. So I I love watching all the pro game games and analyzing them and just trying to learn how the game works so i think i could do that also in the future but Fair takes enough. time yeah yeah of course and obviously with it being so early on in the career it's just so that we can kind of get an idea of where you kind of want to be so how has it mm. been with the team so far in terms of how have you been getting along with everyone and how have the team been playing together has everything been looking good behind well, the scenes yeah you're like well the first uh, week or first two weeks uh, screaming because the thing was uh, still like try out in everyone it was really weird for me because i'm really shy oh. so it was hard for me every time switching players and not being fully comfortable but now that we we have decided the players i'm starting to talk more and to have confidence and yeah it, it's it's so easy now with the guys we are now i'm really confident that's always really good to hear. So, when was it that you started playing? Do you remember? Well, I started on the World's Season 2, the end of Season 2, yeah. I think. Then I, I didn't really try hard that much because I was uh, playing basketball, like uh, national tournaments and stuff. I was really into sports. But then I had a surgery in Season 6 and I had to stop uh, doing sports. So, I focused more on league. And yeah, that's it. Then uh, season six, I was with number one amateur team in Spain, but just amateur. And then team broke. I did. I didn't really try again to play competitive. So that's fair. Have you always been a support player? Did you start support? Always, or? always, always. Yeah, yeah. I started support because um, I have a twin brother, and he will play AD with me, and I'll support him. It was really uh... like that's his desk. So we were just playing and we could talk everything to each other and it was so easy to improve oh, us, really cool. us too. Yeah, yeah. So well, he's not in my house anymore. He's, he left like two years ago. But... Oh, no. Yeah, it, it was fine to improve. So is he going to be our sub? <laughs> Sorry? Is he going to be our substitute? <laughs> he could, he could. I mean, he's not really playing that much, but he's still like D1. Yeah. Back in season six, he was almost challenger. But yeah, now he's D1. Living by the decay. What was your first champion? Do you remember? The first, cha first champion I played was Gragas. And I remember the reason. The reason was I have no idea how the game worked. And I went to like a convention with a lot of PCs. And I was with my friends. I looked the the monitor just in front of me. And I saw a guy just throwing you and one shot, one shot in the wave. And I thought like, wow, this is so good. And I just started playing Gragas. <laughs> then my first main was Heimendinger, because Gragas was the first I played, but then I started maining Heimendinger. And then when Thresh came out, I just OTP'd Thresh till I start learning the other supports. Yeah. 
the the good choice is I, w- I was always an Enchanter support. So my first support was Sona like going on to Nami. So all the stuff that never gets played anymore. I mean, now I'm more of an ardent player than an engaged player. Like yeah. I love the Lulu, the Karma, first champs are the best. So do you have a favorite coach? Uh, I would say season four uh, fanatic coach, Dylan. Yeah, because he was a Spanish. He was a Spanish, and also this fanatic fanatic team was really good. So I I don't remember this is season four, five, something like that. I don't remember the exact it was year. Season four, I think. That yeah, was... it was like the the. I don't, don't remember if it's the Hunian Rainover team. No, it wasn't the or, Hunian. Or it's Rainover. before. It's before, right? Yeah. No, it was. I after, don't remember I the. Think. Yeah, I, I'm not sure. I just remember yeah. I really like the coach. And like, since he was Spanish as well as me, I could understand a lot of stuff he said, and he like talked in Spanish a lot. Yeah. So it was really fun for me and to learn. From him. Yeah, because he still does a lot of um, Spanish translations when he does interviews now. So mm-hmm. I know him and Mac in the LEC both do um, their Spanish translations. So you know, that's all the good stuff. Do you, uh, do you have a favorite player? I would say Haile Shang. Because uh, I started following uh, Unicorns of Love uh, on the way up to LCS back in the day. The reason I started following them because it was because sub, the sub top laner was from uh, my city, yeah, in Nandisco, and he was just the sub, but he was in the team. So I really got into the team because of that. And then it was the, the promotion tournament. He played Thresh, really insane. And they just fell in love with him. He is such an underrated support player. He is one of the best in the league. And, you know, I, Fnatic, are still one of the teams that I follow. So I'm, I'm always quite happy when Hillisang kind of, you know, yeah, ma- yeah. makes those plays and kind of proves that he's not just what everyone thinks that he is just with the inting. But no. He's so good. He's so good. He is. He's such a lovely person as well. But... That pretty much just rounds off our um, our little interview. It, like I said, it was nothing going to be nothing long, but I think that we all kind of got some really good answers from you there. So I really appreciate having you, you know, talking to you. I know that it might not have been easy given your shy nature, but hopefully we can, you know, break that fourth wall and you can start uh, joining in with yeah. some it, it was, videos. It was easy stuff. with you. It was easy working with you. Yeah. So. <laughs> but yeah, thanks for that. Thank you for having me also. That's okay.